just sitting here on my porch drinking coffee with all of you, using my new tripod that I love. And today is going to be a really fantastic day. It is beautiful outside, it's sunny, and at the end of my last video, you saw that I had received another package. Well, I'm going to open that today, let you see what it is if you haven't figured it out already, and I'm going to put that together and see if I can get it going. Okay, I'm going to open the box that's sitting right next to me and try and put it together. So I'm going to back the camera up a little bit and just not talk through it and just open it up and go through it and try and put it together. This is going to be so, so awesome.
for some instructions. Attention, this stove and all of the components are protected with a heat resistant paint coating that needs to be cured and will emit odors when first used. Before using the stove for the first time, you must place the fully assembled stove and pipe in an open area that is well ventilated and build a small fire in the stove. Keep feeding the stove for up to three hours until the paint has fully cured. It is recommended that you allow the paint to cure slowly, so it is best to keep the fire at moderate size during this process. When the stove has fully cured, the paint should turn a dull gray color and the stove will no longer be emitting an odor. So, looks like I'm going to be building a fire. i got to find some firewood. Cut me some wood. Haha. <laughs> This stove has been burning for about 2 hours 15 minutes. I'm going to let it burn for about another 45 minutes. And my green pea with ham soup is almost done. And this little stove is amazing. It is just absolutely amazing. I'm not seeing any smoke coming out of anywhere on the door at all. There's some, some stuff uh, that they've used to line the door so that the smoke doesn't get out. And um, it gets good and hot, enough to boil water and keep it boiling for a good long time. Um, and the smoke goes up like it's supposed to. This gets really hot, the pipe gets really hot, so eventually I want to get one of those little fans that you hook onto it um, for in the winter time. And the base that's on it is probably the base that I'm going to bring into the tiny house when it's time to bring the stove in. I'm probably going to fire it up a few more times out here. First, I don't even know if I'm in the shot. <laughs> I'm a bad YouTuber, aren't I? Anyhow, I'll learn this whole tripod thing. There was no note in the box, so I have absolutely no idea who gave me this. I doubled, triple checked just to see, and there was nothing in there, no note or anything. So whoever gave me this, this this is a game changer for me. This is going to keep me warm in the winter time. And it is just a really, a really wonderful stove. I'm gonna be able to cook on it. It's going to keep me warm. So whoever you are, thank you so very much. I really needed this and it's just, it made a Mother's Day absolutely amazing. So anyhow, um, you know what? I'm going to finish uh, reducing the stock in this soup a little bit and then I'm going to have me some Mother's Day split pea and ham soup and that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.